theme of this year's Aloha Fest is about Kani Kapila, and that's to make music. And I think what we want to do is to really want to uncover uh, the richness and diversity of the Asian and Pacific Islander culture. The sentiment of being happy that you're with people that you love translates into, hey, let's get together and dance. Let's get together and play music. Let's get together and sing. And basically, that's the sentiment of Kanikakila. Tonight, we have this Aloha Fest that's Kanikapila style. Kanikapila is like backyard luau, come hang out. People want to come up and play, sing, dance. Come on up, we're all family. We're all ohana here. And so the music brings everyone together and it, it has a common mind. And I think that's why music is so important and that's why this event is so crucial and imperative tonight to have, especially here in the Hollywood Hills. The palette that we're using here is the uh, Pacific Islander Ocean, the largest ocean in the world. We have on the one end the Samoan culture that comes from the old, the older, the senior Polynesian cultures, all the way to the Hawaii, which is the most secluded uh, group of islands in the world. And we have the islands of French Polynesia, as well as uh, down south, the islands of New Zealand, uh, where the Maori come from. It's diverse, yet what binds them all is their use of music and dance to build and to maintain community and culture. These dance forms and these songs and these meles, as what they're called, their chants, are important because they're the only link, or one of the only links, to our past. It's oral tradition. It's grandma sitting down and teaching, you know, the grandson or the granddaughter, this is the oli or the chant that I was taught when I was your age. 
What binds many of the Polynesian groups, including the native Hawaiians, is this issue of mana. Mana is that intangible spirit that uh, is shared, that's reinforced, that really comes to play when people perform. When they create culture and when they pass culture from one generation to the next, that's really the mana that all Polynesian cultures share, that intangible spirit. Aloha, although it's a Hawaiian term, you find throughout Polynesia in various forms. All the different Pacific Islander groups use a form of aloha to share, to give each other love, and to give life to one another and to the culture of which they're going to perform. Our sound is a mix of uh, what we love of traditional Hawaiian music blended with soul, uh, reggae, um, rock and roll. Do a real quick intro, you know, but do a little bit of an intro. Yeah. I have something called a looper, so I, I kind of beatbox a beat into the song. So it brings, you know, it's got the traditional kind of feel of Hawaiian music, but it's got a bit of a thump and kind of a funky um, beat to it. I've invited the Kalama brothers, and they're just extraordinary musicians. Kai, the younger brother, was actually a contestant on American Idol. Well, yeah, I was on American Idol in 2009. I got to top 36, where you get to vote. Um, did it on kind of a dare. It's really helped us get to where we're at right now. And then we gotta remember, our music has been very well received in Hawaii and in California, in the mainland as well. Um, we just played a big Polynesian event not too long ago, and uh, somebody mentioned that they thought we were the bridge, you know, the bridge from the mainland to the, uh, to the islands, but also the bridge between the old style and the contemporary style. You know, we, we have a great, great lineage. We are descended from kahunas. 
And we also have to pay respects to our kupunas, our elders. And uh, we are the keikis of our kupuna. And we also have our own uh, hula halal that is going to be dancing for us tonight, which we're very excited about. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome and a round of applause for Mr. Ryan and Kai of the Kalama Brothers. late 70s and 80s, there was an earlier incarnation of the Kalama brothers, which was their father and their uncle. They were the original Kalama brothers, and uh, they were, had an amazing Hawaiian act, kind of like a Hawaiian Smothers Brothers act. Our dad passed away a couple years ago. Uh, it was very sad for us. Our dad, who could sing so beautifully, he could make you get in touch with the spirit. In Hawaii, they call it the mana. So he could just make you feel the mana just by singing. After he passed, we found this recording of a song he did about the island of Oahu. And we just thought, why don't we, why don't we do something with this? You know, why don't we record it? And that, everything kind of stemmed from there. One thing that we always loved was to hear our dad sing. And after he passed away, we found this recording of this song, Oahu. And it's a song that he wrote about the island uh, where he grew up. And he never got to record it. So we're very, um, very thankful that it's on our album and we got to pass on the work that he started. And in the song we mention, uh, or he mentions places that are very dear to him, places like the Pali Lookout, or um, La Ie, or uh, you know, Kailua, Kaneohe Bay, Waimea. So if you, you know, as we sing the song, maybe you can picture these places uh, as we sing it. And we'll feature our dancers. For our dad, for all of you, this is Oahu. Oh, 
I felt the wind o'er the poly. I swam the bay of Kaneohe. Tasted sugar cane from Laie. Places dear to me. This is my Hawaii, the place where I was born. This is my Isle of Paradise, the island of oh. I've walked the sands of Kailua. I surf the waves of Waimea. The golden sunset of Waikiki. Places dear to me. This is my heart. Place where I was born. This is my Isle of Paradise, the island of oh, oh, oh. I've walked the sands of Kailua. do another uh, classic Hawaiian song and uh, do, do our own spin on it. Uh, the song is called Akaka Falls. And you know, usually when you hear this song, it's kind of sad and kind of slow. Um, but the story of Akaka Falls is about this guy, Akaka, who had a love triangle. You know, he was seeing two ladies at the same time. So we figured this guy had to be like the Mac Daddy of the islands, you know. So we thought, why don't we do, if we do Akaka Falls, we'll do kind of like a smoothed out R&B version, the Mac Daddy version of a cock of falls. So this is what we came up with. Lainapoli, 
Because the Pacific Islanders inhabited the most widely dispersed geographic area of the world, they had to do their journeys in the way where they navigated by the stars. By looking at the clouds, by feeling the waves, and if you think of that technology and how these traditional peoples were able to migrate and to travel across the largest body of water in the world, it's tremendous. And throughout their journey, throughout their struggles, of going from one island to the next, they brought their cultures. We know that uh, 100 years ago that America took over and overthrew the Hawaiian government, the last queen. We know that World War II brought many Samoans and many uh, Guamanians to America, to the naval bases as part of, of, of the military. And we find that continue the family reunification, this idea of ohana, or family, keeps bringing new generations of Pacific Islanders to continue trying to find a better life for themselves. <laughs> So the journey that they make across the Pacific is to create and continue their culture. the troubled skies let me in to the people and their cries keep us from falling over we must lean on our father's shoulder Of our peace, 
chicken skin. No, in my ohana shall release from within. Change is bound to live. Don't forget, you get just what you give. Blowing away every day. brother on the bass guitar again. Come and go are the souls who fought their war from beyond. Are with us to our core, keep us from falling over. We must lean on our Father's shoulder. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you guys so much. And thank you again for our dancers, led by Nicole Kanahele Stutz. Love you guys. We're gonna do another uh, classic Hawaiian song. This is Eku'u Morning Dew, written by Uncle Eddie Kamai. And uh, you know, again, we're gonna do our own thing with it. So traditional Just a little faster. Yeah. Traditionalists don't get mad at us, all right? <laughs> Ali 
title track of our album, K.O., which is very much of a, a throwback to the old school um, contemporary Hawaiian music like the uh, Casimero Brothers. And the lyrics are, are all about our dad, who uh, taught us how to sing Hawaiian music, taught us how to play guitar. The first line is, uh, can you hear the sound of old Hawaii, which was our dad's voice. I mean, it was just like velvet, you know? And uh, can you feel the love of our ohana, the love that we have from our family to yours, bringing uh, you know, this, this music that hasn't been heard. And we just pretty much in the chorus call out to him, saying, you know, we miss you, we love you, and uh, we're here to take the torch. There's another line, and now although I cannot see you, I feel that you are always here with me. And especially when we sing Hawaiian music, when we sing anytime, I can really, we can really feel the spirit of our dad with us, you know, um, it, and it's very powerful. Can you hear the sound of old Hawaii that calls the soul from far? Across the sea Can you feel the love of our Ohana The love that seems to set your spirit free Can you hear the 
Mahalo, thank you. So Wahine Ilikea actually means a lot to us. It, it's about, uh, it comes from the island of Molokai, and that's uh, where our grandparents are from. So this is Wahine Ilikea.
Michael. Give him a hand. Beautiful, beautiful. My grandfather was the high chief of our village in Satupaitia, Savai. This is the big island of Samoa. The chief, his job is basically the father of all the different families in the village, so he's responsible for everything that happens over there. Now my dad became the chief after my grandfather passed. And I must say that uh, being a musician, it was an accident, <laughs> you know? Being in Samoa, everybody sings. Everywhere you go, there's music. When I started getting older, I picked up the guitar and I wanted to, I wanted to start singing my dad's song, and then I wouldn't put the guitar down. Sounds good, babe. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Tonight, it's just gonna be me with my guitar, and I just want people to see what I've experienced in my life with my family and my friends, and I get to share some of my Samoan music with everyone. Far away were rainbows bare, colorful people everywhere. Tropical sun and moonlit skies, romantic songs fill the night. Happy to say it's time I rode. Polynesia is my home. Welcome to paradise. Polynesia is home. Kiora talo fama lo lele. Polynesians sweetly say, Aloha, you're not the only way. A leper and a tear, goodbye. back again someday Polynesia is home I'll be back again someday Polynesia is Mahalo. Thank you very much. Now, my father, 
wrote a lot of songs. My brother wrote a lot of songs. Only recently I just started writing songs because I felt like I was in their shadow. <laughs> and I'm still taller than my brother. For those of you who get that. Anyways, I have an album that just came out. It's called Shades of Grey. And uh, this song right here is called Home Again. I had an aunt, well, a lot of you may, uh, you are familiar with this probably. You probably know somebody in the military with a spouse or, you know, a loved one. And, uh, you know, my aunt watched her husband go away for nine years. You know, I was very sad to see that, you know, every time he came home, it was like the happiest. It was like Christmas every time he came home. And so that inspired me to write this song. It's called Home Again. So this one goes out to her and everyone else who's ha who has a long distance relationship or somebody's on the road traveling. So it goes out to all of you. Yeah. That's my wife clapping. That means you guys got clapping. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Blue sky, sunshine, I feel to be home again. Wipe those eyes, don't cry. Oh, baby, I'm home again. I'm in a better place, cause the smile on your face, nothing can take me away. And if that ship starts sailing, but they'll have to send me to jail. Mm -hmm. That's why I cry whenever I'm home again. Three years, seven nights, finally I'm home again. If I could go back and change all my tracks, I point them straight back to you. They'll have to tie me up and lay me down and let that train run through me. Me and you, it's true, I'm felt to be home again. Forget those times, they're gone, oh baby, I'm home again. Together, forever, just me and you. It's been so long since I've been excited. Now that I found my way back to you. Skies, sunshine, I feel to be home again. Wipe those eyes, don't cry. Oh, baby, I'm home again. Baby, baby, I'm home. Baby, baby, I'm home. You guys look great tonight. Thank you, by the way. Round of applause for everyone here that came out today and shared their music and the dancing and the cultures from the different islands of the South Pacific. Everybody who volunteered their time as well. I'd like to call up my brothers, the Kalama brothers. Come on up here. Let's do a song together. Also, Mr. Josh Valoria, round of applause again. Helipoa, Helipoa, I buy Keone, Keone, Hino, Hino, La, Vela, Ika, La, Keia, Eh, Mayumano, Oh, Hey, 
ponga ok yeah. Elipoa Mahalo to the dancers in the audience, dancers on the stage. Well, thank you everybody for being here. We're going to let everyone take a bow.
Hello.